Hi, it's Vicki Marie. I want to welcome you back to my vlog today. Uh, John and I recently went to Taylor Reservoir here in Colorado and we took Cottonwood Pass uh, for the first time pulling our trailer. Now they just paved Cottonwood Pass last year making it so easy to come this way and you'll see we're going to take you all the way through to the top and to the other side going from uh, Buena Vista to Taylor Reservoir. If you are new today, I would love for you to subscribe, click that notification bell, and leave us a comment. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. We hope you enjoy today's vlog. Clap your hands and you feel stronger. Tomorrow, you get another chance. So we are on our way to Taylor Reservoir, and we're gonna be going over Cottonwood Pass here in just a couple of hours. Yep, two, two and a half oh, so hours. Two and a half hours. We found out that there's some road closures up north, so we're probably going to hit more traffic than usual, but hopefully that won't lengthen our trip. So, so it's probably good we're going over the pass, even though I'm nervous. But ready, excited? Yeah, I'm ready and excited. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we're just going to take you along. We're going south out of Buena Vista and off here to the right is where we're gonna head here in just a minute up through that mountain range up there. And we're gonna be taking Cottonwood Pass. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take some pics as we go over there. We stopped in Buena Vista and got a, filled up on gas before we head up the mountain pass. And here is where we're turning right, where it says Cottonwood Pass and it is open. They do close this during the winter time uh, when it snows but we're going, let's see, this is August, what's the date? <laughs> 14th, 15th? It's August 13th, but they do close it uh, once it starts snowing. Yeah, October or November. We're, we're taking Main Street no, out of Buena Vista, and we're going west, and we're heading towards Cottonwood Pass. I do have a Google map pulled up, so you can kind of see where we're headed here on the map, right through the pass there. Cottonwood Pass is a pass that takes you right over the Continental Divide from the San Isabel National Forest side to the Gunnison National Forest side. And the elevation at the peak of the pass is 12,126 feet above sea level. It's a pass that I was very nervous to cross with our camper because of the, the hairpin curves and the high drop down but i was very comfortable on this road and we just took it slow and with a 30 foot that's hitched to in 30 foot the, the actual trailer uh, length is 26 uh, feet it's a jaco ultra light trailer so um, it's not very heavy but we were very comfortable pulling this with our titan nissan titan uh, truck had no problems at all and of course it's closed during the winter when it snows so you don't have to worry about the snow and ice it is a two-lane road all the way uh, and there are places to pull over on the side of the road if you need to if you are interested in in 14ers the tall mountains this uh, right here this is denny's creek trailhead it might be the place for you because this is this is the collegiate peaks that we are going through and these are some of the tallest mountains in the Rocky Mountain range and that trailhead will take you through uh, it, there's a lot of climbing these are 14ers these are the tall mountains that people talk about uh, climbing and um, this is a, a very popular place for people who like to uh, like to climb the to the, the 14ers it's also a beautiful place for if you're like me and you just like to hike uh, casually. And here we're coming up on Tar Ptarmigan Trail and there's quite a few people here. Now Cottonwood Pass is known for its hairpin curves and we are about to experience our first one right after 
uh, ptarmigan uh, uh, trail, we will reach a series of hairpin curves here. So you will um, see how these are very sharp turns. You just have to take it slow, uh, very slow. But they weren't bad at all. John said it was quite relaxing to drive through here. I, I don't think we would want to be pulling our trailer over here on an icy, snowy day, but this was beautiful. It was such a beautiful drive, and as long as you go slow, you shouldn't have any problems. And right here you can see where we're coming up on this really sharp turn here and uh, you'll see this in just a minute but that's where we're at where the arrow is so let's take a look at what it looks like in real life Not bad at all. You just have to take it slow. It looks pretty intimidating when you look at the map, but uh, as long as you go slow, these turns are not bad at all. Look how beautiful this drive is. We just passed Lock Lake Trailhead, and this is just out the side window here. It is gorgeous. We're approaching the summit, as you can see right up in there, you can see those cars. Uh, that's where we're heading. That's the summit of Cottonwood Pass.
We're coming up on Cottonwood, uh, on the summit of Cottonwood Pass, and right there to the left is the actual peak. And you can park here and take that trail and go right to the top. And we've crossed the Continental Divide from the Atlantic side now to the Pacific side. So we are now getting into Gunnison National uh, Forest. And this is gorgeous. And coming up here on the right is a little turnoff there, and that's a day use area. You can pull in there and have picnics. You have a beautiful view there. And that lake down there is our final destination. You just got a glimpse of it, but we'll get a better look at it here in just a moment. of the really tight hairpin turns. There's a couple of curves coming up, but they're they're not near as tight as those. Just past mile marker four. And it's the next morning, we're all set up, and you can see we already have visitors. The deer are out in the trees there. This is such a beautiful place to spend some time, and we come here every year. That drive over Cottonwood Pass takes about an hour off of our drive, uh, but you can uh, go over Monarch Pass if you would rather come that way. It's a little bit longer, 
But uh, going over Cottonwood Pass uh, took some time off of our trip, and it was definitely worth it. As you can see, it was a beautiful drive. Thank you so much for uh, watching our video today. I hope that you enjoyed uh, traveling with us. If you like our, uh, our video and you like our channel, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, click that notification bell. Uh, again, leave us a comment and uh, thank you so much for being here and we will see you on the next video. Bye.